All right, welcome back to Decode Tech and another video on Python classes and object-oriented programming. So in our last video, we created a coffee maker class and created some instances of coffee makers from that class. And remember, a class has attributes and methods. Attributes are really just variables and methods are really just functions, but they're tied to that object. And we saw that both these instances could have different data with them. So if we look at our coffee maker class, we have our attributes here with the self in front of them. And we have one method called refill that basically takes the water level attribute and increases it to the max water level. So these are instance attributes and instance methods. But there's also something called a class variable. So instance attributes are supposed to be specific to an instance, whereas a class variable is supposed to be shared by all instances. So to do this is pretty simple, and I think our max water level would make a really good candidate for it. Basically, you go up above your init function, and one indention into the class, you just name a variable name. And since our max water level will be the same for all of our coffee makers, I think it would actually make more sense as a class variable. So I'll just copy it and paste it up above, and then I'll comment out this attribute down here, down below, because we don't need it anymore. Also, if you remember at the end of last video, we put this class in a separate file and we imported it into our make coffee file. So to be able to see these better, I can do a VS code trick. I'm going to hide this sidebar over here with control B on Windows or command B on Mac. And then I'm going to take the coffee tab and I'm gonna click and drag and you see how things start to get highlighted. And I'm gonna go into just the right side kind of towards the top here. And it will make just the right half highlighted. And if I release, it'll open a separate window with a side-by-side -side view so we can see both at the same time. But these are actually separate files still. All right, so I'm just gonna get rid of our old code and our main function, and I'm just gonna start over. Now, if we wanna see the coffee maker's class variable, we need to use the name of the class, so coffee maker. And now instead of making an instance with the parentheses, we're gonna leave the parentheses off and just right away use the dot operator and say max water level. And if we wanna see that, course we'd have to print it to the screen. So I'll save that and I'll run that down here and you see we get 32 printed to the console. So now how do we work with this with objects? So let's create two instances again, maker, and we aren't taking in anything in the init function so I'll just leave it blank and let's copy that and let's make another maker. I'll just name this maker too. So now we have two coffee maker instances and before that we're printing out the coffee maker class variable of max water level. Now if I try to print out maker dot max water level, what do you think will happen? Well let's try it. So I'll run it again and you see it works. We get 32 twice. Now why if we commented out this self dot max water level can we still access maker dot max water level? Well how classes work is first of all it looks for an instance attribute and if it doesn't find it there, if it doesn't find max water level as an instance attribute, then it will fall back to see if the class has a variable called max water level. In this case it does, so it still works. But now let's try calling the refill method. So I'm gonna say maker.refill, remember a method, it's just a function tied to an object, and it's gonna set the water level, or the instance attribute water level, to whatever self.maxwaterlevel is. So let's try that, and then we wanna see the new water level if it's refilled. So we'll print maker.waterlevel, and I'll run the code again, and that works. But what if you wanna directly call the class variable? Well, instead of self, you can call coffeemaker.maxwaterlevel, and once again, notice no parentheses there. And now let's save and run again. You see we get the same result. Now, there is a reason for that, and that is that you can still have an instance attribute as well as a class attribute. That way, if almost every object you want to have the same data stored with it, but for one, you might want slightly different data, you can still change it for one object or however many objects you choose. So for example, I'm gonna set self.maxwaterlevel to coffeemaker.waterlevel. So I'll just copy and paste, and that'll give us the same results we've got the whole time. So even if I adjust maker.waterlevel, or max water level rather, and set it to 40, something higher than the class variable. Even when I refill it, it'll still just be 32 because in the refill method, we're calling the class variables max water level. And so I'll save that to prove it. And let's run it again. And you see, we still get 32, even though we changed the instance variable to 40. 
But now if instead inside our method we use self instead of the class variable and save and run, you see we now get 40 when we use the refill method on maker. So it is important which one you pick to use, whether it be the class variable or the instance variable. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Now you might say, well, if there can be class variables, can there also be class methods? And there can be. So what that looks like is you have a method just like normal, and I'm going to say raise max water level. Now you have to do something special right above the function. And I hesitate to bring this up now because I didn't explain this yet, but you need something called a decorator and you use the at symbol and you say class method. I'm not gonna get into details of decorators in this video, but basically it just adds extra functionality to a function without you actually having to manually code that functionality in your function. This is helpful if you already have a bunch of functions and you realize you needed a little bit of functionality in each one of them. You can make a decorator and just add the decorator above them. So enough on that, let's go back to our class function. And instead of taking in self, we'll take in CLS, which is for class. Um, the reason they don't spell out class is because class is used up here to define the class. So they use CLS. And that's basically the same functionality as self. It's just for the class instead of the instance. And then we'll take in the amount we want to raise it by. And of course, you need a colon at the end. And then we need our actual code. So how could we raise the max water level? Well, we could access our class dot max water level. So that's like accessing this variable and we'll set it equal to the amount that's passed in. So whatever we pass into the function will come down to be set as the new max water level. So now in our code, instead of calling maker dot max water level, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to add a space, another space. Now I'm going to say coffee maker because we're running something on the class. Remember once again, without parentheses, because that would create an instance dot raise max water level, open and close parentheses because it's a function. The class automatically gets passed in as CLS just like an instance automatically gets passed in, but then we need to give it an amount. So let's raise the class to 50. So now any coffee maker object you make will have a max water level of 50, unless you override it, of course, with an instance variable. So I'll save that, and we're still running our refill function on maker. So let's try our code again and see what we get. So I'll clear the console, and we still get 32. So what's happening here? Did our class method not work? Well, it did work, but remember I said it matters which one you're calling in the refill method. So if we want that to affect our refill functionality, we still need to call the coffee maker for the class variable instead of the instance variable. So now if I save and run that, you see we now get 50 after the refill. So especially as we're in the basics tutorials, I'll probably use class variables a lot more than class methods, but I did want you to know they exist and how they work. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it informative. If you'd be interested in supporting the channel, there'll be a Patreon link in the description down below. And as always, I hope to see you in the next Python tutorial.